Our planet is comprised of a lot of animals with distinct features. One of such animals are the great apes, which are grouped under different species. Each species has its own way of life. Recently, scientists have discovered something scary about the chimpanzee species. They were baffled at this chilling discovery, and because of how scary it was, they had to announce it to the public. What did the scientists discover about the chimpanzees, and how would this discovery affect our knowledge of the animal kingdom? Join us as we explore how scientists have just announced that a chimpanzee has been observed doing something chilling. Also regarded as chimps, the chimpanzees are part of the great apes family, which consists of humans, bonobos, gorillas, and orangutans. Chimpanzees are one of the closest relatives to humans, but not in every way. They share about 98% of our genes with us. With thick-set bodies and short legs, chimpanzees have some attributes in behavior related to us. They have no tails, opposable thumbs, and long arms that are one and a half times their height and grow beyond their knees. Also, much of their bodies are covered with long black hair, except the ears, fingers, face, and toes, which are usually bare. Although it is believed that everything about these great apes seems relatively normal, the recent behavior observed by scientists opposes this belief. Scientists have always wondered why female chimpanzees are never in sight whenever they are due to give birth to their offspring. This phenomenon is named maternity leave, where the female chimp leaves the group and secludes herself in an unknown area until she gives birth to her child. Scientists and researchers have been snooping around in forests and all forms of habitats for years to figure out why chimpanzee births in the wild are rarely spotted. And they finally received an answer to the puzzle, but the sight of this discovery is enough to change our perception of how chimpanzees relate. On a rainy day in December 2014, a duo of researchers were studying a large group of chimpanzees living in the Mahale Mountains near Lake Tanganyika in Tanzania. Tagged as the M group, the group of chimpanzees has been studied by several researchers since 1968. The researchers who made the discovery, Michio Nakamura and Haitunaro Nishi, were confused and excited at the same time. Given that they just saw a chimpanzee being birthed, they were also shocked as to why the mother didn't withdraw from her group before the delivery. The mother, Devota, was still among other chimps when she delivered her baby, so about 20 other chimpanzees also watched the childbirth. She has been part of the group for about two years at that time. Nakamura and Nishi had been observing the party of chimps before that fateful day, and the scientists did not notice any signs of Devota expecting a baby, nor did they observe any movements that showed she was about to give birth. For these reasons, the Kyoto University researchers were in disbelief as they watched in admiration. Unfortunately, this admiration didn't last for long as they witnessed a shocking event that happened a few minutes later. A few seconds after Devota delivered her baby, an alpha male among the party of chimps named Darwin came to snatch the infant. The incident happened so fast that Darwin took the newborn from the ground and ran away even before the nursing mother could touch it. As a result of this speedy kidnap, even the researchers couldn't confirm if the baby was a live birth or a stillbirth. They couldn't even confirm the infant's gender before Darwin rushed up and snatched it into the woods. Still dumbfounded by the situation, Nakamura and Nishi began preparing to look for Darwin in the bushes. They were gathering their journals and cameras ready only for them to see Darwin appear from the bushes, still holding the newborn. One of the researchers hurriedly took a few photos, but they were in a poorly lit environment. The rain was also an issue, but they got some photos before Darwin rushed back into the bushes. The researchers followed him immediately and found the dominant male 15 minutes later in a nearby tree. When they got there, they saw Darwin eating the newborn's body, starting from its legs. As Nakamura and Nishi watched in horror, they saw other chimpanzees come under the tree and pick up bits of flesh that had fallen to the ground while Darwin was tearing the infant apart. Almost an hour later, Darwin was done eating the infant. This discovery shocked the researchers, but it was also a phenomenon that sparked a hypothesis in their study. The researchers believed that the infant was snatched by Darwin because of competition. This means Darwin ate Devota's newborn chimp because he wasn't the father. Killing the infant means the female would be ready to mate again, increasing the possibility of the male mating with her. And when he can mate successfully, the female will carry his baby, extending his lineage. 
The killing of infant chimps and cannibalism amongst the species has been documented earlier, but this is the first time researchers and scientists saw a baby snatched and killed immediately after delivery. Even primatologists were surprised at this discovery. However, Nakamura and Nishi proposed a theory about what they encountered in the mountains. They said in their study that the reason scientists are just documenting such cases of seeing a baby snatched could be due to the rarity of observing female chimpanzees during childbirth. They proposed further, saying it might also be why female chimpanzees retreat from their groups and embark on maternity leave. This maternity leave is taken in order to save their infants from being murdered. So why did Devota not go on maternity leave if this was the case? The scientists answered this question with their point of view, saying that Devota was probably having her first baby. Being a first-time mum, she probably hasn't figured out how to retreat on maternity leave. The researchers also added that it could have been that the newborn's father was nearby, which was why she didn't leave the group. A surprising side to this story is that the M group in Tanzania are not a group of murderous monsters. This was proven a year earlier when Nakamura and his team made a report about the group as they saw the M group in Mahali looking after a disabled baby chimpanzee. What if they only exhibited this behavior during specific periods? After more research was conducted, it turned out that infant chimpanzees are not the only ones cannibalized and eaten by other chimps. A similar event was narrated in a Planet Earth segment by David Attenborough, an English broadcaster and naturalist. He recalled his experience when he saw a family of African chimps who saw other chimpanzees as a threat and attacked them. When they attacked the other family and killed a young chimpanzee, they shared the body and took it up to their trees. By doing this, they achieved three purposes. They took out one of the rivals and protected their local food supply. Also, they ate the deceased chimpanzee, which means no meat went to waste. It's safe to say that one of the reasons for cannibalism in chimps can be due to survival instincts. Aside from the cannibal behavior shown by chimpanzees, they are very social animals. As our closest relative among great apes, these species have shown signs of intelligence like us. Chimpanzees invent tools to access food such as hunting for termites with sharpened sticks and breaking nuts open with anvil-like rocks. A perfect example of chimps showing their intellect is the method used by the Fongoli chimpanzees when they need to hunt for food. Located in southeastern Senegal, the chimpanzees of Fongolia built differently. Their habitat is hotter and drier. This environment does not have trees with fruit for the chimps to feed on to survive. Due to this scarcity, the Fongoli chimpanzees eat and live differently, unlike their forest-dwelling cousins. The savanna's heat is one burden to begin with. The heat from the environment forces the Fongoli chimpanzees to hide and rest during the day and remain this way until nightfall. It is only during the nighttime the Fongoli chimpanzees are seen moving around. Also, they source water to drink and bathe in due to the savanna heat. This is one thing that makes them stand out from the East African chimpanzees who are scared of water and do not forage around their habitat in the middle of the night. One thing they have in common with the East African chimpanzees is a part of their eating habits. Both species are known to hunt down small monkeys in the trees, but the Fongoli chimps came up with a more fascinating method to hunt, which makes them more advanced. They devised the tool of spears to hunt, compared to their East African cousins that still use the traditional method. The Fongoli chimpanzees have been caught in the act several times as they break off wooden saplings, tuning one end to make it sharp like a spear and then sticking it into tree holes. This is done to hunt bush babies, which are tiny primates with rodent-like figures. As they rest in these trees, the smart Fongoli chimps swiftly poke in its spear to stab the sleeping bush baby. This method devised by the chimpanzees is very effective as the bush baby is either impaled or injured before being grabbed by its predator. It is a method that has been exhibited over 300 times over 10 years as scientists have studied the situation extensively. Another shocking factor is that most of the hunts with spears were done by female chimpanzees and not the males. For a long time, anthropologists have labeled male chimpanzees as bigger, faster, and more powerful in hunting. But the Fongoli chimpanzees were a bit the opposite, with their females at the front line spearheading the culture of hunting with tools. Scientists and researchers tried to look into this and saw a possible explanation. 
They proposed that female chimps use the spear method more because of their difficulty in chasing down prey. This difficulty happens as a result of always having offspring clinging to their bodies. Up until today, these chimpanzees are the only known animal to use a tool in hunting another large animal. Scientists also found out from their study that the Fongoli troop of chimps are more organized and cooperative than other chimpanzee troops. An example of this is shown when the dominant males in the group allow females and smaller males to keep their kill instead of stealing it from them. They also speculated theories about the development of tool use which researchers suggest started with females. They further proposed that it might have also been the same for early humans as the early humans crafted weapons in a related environment. This means the chimpanzees are doing the same thing we once did before civilization or are probably using early human survival instincts. As far as scientists are concerned, these chimpanzees have a lot more in store for us, so further efforts are being made to study their behaviors. Who knows what will be discovered about them next? Let us know what you think about this in the comments section below.